Welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are new then hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe. If you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure the notification bell is switched on just so you're notified of every single time that I upload. Now for today's video I have a super excited one because I'm finally going to be doing a full face of P. Louise. I've been meaning to do this video for a while. There is so much new stuff, as well as some stuff I've picked up along the way that I haven't tested out. We've got the Fine Beauty Skin Tint, which is her other brand. We've got the lip kits, the highlighters, blushes, liquid blushes, bronzers. We've even got the skincare in there. Like we are literally trying as much as I possibly can do for a full face by P. Louise. I'm very excited about this video. Obviously this is my completed look. So if you'd like to see how I got to this look and what I thought about the products along the way, then please keep watching. Oh, and I'm so excited to film today's video. I've been meaning to do this literally for months. I'm pretty sure I got the budget box uh, advent calendar back in September maybe. No, it got to be, no, it, I, no, I'm exaggerating. I'm pretty sure it was in November. If I remember rightly, I literally can't, it was that long ago, I can't remember. Um, and I've had these products sitting here and I've also collected a few more products along the way that she's recently launched. And I thought, you know what, let's just do a full face of P. Louise. Obviously there's some products in here that I can't use, like um, concealer, powder, setting spray, because she's not got those products. I mean, she has just released a setting spray, but I obviously haven't got that for this video. So there are a few things along the way that I can't use, but pretty much everything else is P. Louise. Let's get on into it. So in the budget box, you receive a few like skincare-y types of items. So firstly, I'm gonna be using the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I've got literally nothing on my face, no moisturizer, nothing. This is what the bottle looks like. It is super pretty and I'm pretty sure you can buy all of this now. So um, I will link the P. Louise website down below where you can purchase this all. So I'm just gonna, pipette this all over my face. I don't think I need a bit more than that. I do love a good serum. I'm just gonna keep rubbing that in until it fully soaks into my skin. Okay, so that is cute. The bottle looks and feels super bougie and it's all nicely sunk into my skin. You can tell by how gluey I am now. So that is very nice. Obviously with skincare products, I can't review them based off of that one application I did. Skincare is definitely something you have to review over like a long period of time. Next we have the Give It A Rest Eye Cream. This is the Bux. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this under the eyes to keep them hydrated. This is what the tube, it's not a tube, that is a pot. Ooh has a hygienic seal, which is fabulous. So this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like custard. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna dot a uh, tiny bit on. Usually I would slather, oh, to be fair, I actually did take quite a lot. Usually I slather stuff like this under my eyes before I go to bed, just to keep my under eyes nice and hydrated. Okay, and I'm most excited for this. So this is the Lip Sleeping Mask. It's the strawberry. There we go, strawberry scent. I've literally had this all kept in the boxes since I got it. Cannot believe I've not tried this all yet. The packaging is so freaking cute. This is what it looks like. Oh, oh and the smell is so lovely. So I'm just gonna pop some on my lips. My lips are so, so dry. That's a really nice like thick lip mask, definitely one for overnight, which I think is why it's called Don't Sleep On Me. <laughs> but yeah, not one for during the day, it's quite thick, but overnight that'd be amazing. Okay, so that is all the skincare. My skin is now fully prepped for makeup. And firstly, we're gonna do some primer. So I'm gonna take the Block O'Clock primer. This is the pore filling one. She also does have a hydrating one, but because I've used the hydrating serum, I thought I'd just go in straight with this. Does anyone else? struggle with this pump. I will literally be sat here pumping for ages. Nothing. So I have to just use the like knobbly bit, but I don't really get it anyway. Like surely the pump bit should be a lot longer, but 
Hey ho, pumps definitely need to be looked at on these, but as for the actual primer, it's very, very good. Okay, so we do actually have a foundation to try, but this is by her other brand, which is Fine Beauty, I think is how you pronounce it. This is the brand that she's got with her brother. P. Louise is solely Pages, but Fine, she is doing with her brother. It's like a completely different vibe to P. Louise. Like, packaging of P. Louise is all pink and stuff, and this is very much like classy sort of packaging but this is actually a tinted moisturizer that they brought out or it's actually called a skin tin now i know that this is going to be way too light coverage for me my skin is really struggling at the moment so i have um, brought concealer down like my pot concealer and normal concealer to bring a bit more coverage to my skin because yeah i need all the help i can get at the moment so i got the shade shade one might be too light for me i'm not actually too sure um, yeah, the whole skin tint thing, I, I bought it to try, but odds are, you know, it's not going to work for my preferences in products. But this is the packaging. Look how beautiful it is. I absolutely love it. Do you pull it or twist? Oh, you twist it. Twist it and there's like a little squeezy tube applicator, kind of like the Fenty, like ease drops. You get 33 mil in here and I'm pretty sure it's around the 18 pounds price mark. Okay, so I've just put some spot concealing on and now I'm gonna take the tinted moisturizer. Hmm, that shade actually might be okay. I've heard it's very, very sheer coverage. I've just picked a brush that's a bit more on the fluffy side just so I can kind of like buff the tinted skin tint in a little bit more delicately. Okay, so that is all buffed in. And do you know what? I'm actually not mad at it. I have got the spot concealing on underneath, which has given it a little bit of coverage, but obviously you can still see my blemishes they need a bit more extra coverage so that is where i'm going to go in with some concealer just to cover them a little bit more but this is a very beautiful natural dewy product if you're someone who doesn't require any coverage or want any coverage you just want something to even out your skin uh, tone a little bit and just give you a really nice glow. I think you'd honestly really like this. Personally, I can't see myself reaching for this on the regular, you know, like this is not, this is not my go-to sort of products. However, if I wanted something to just even up my skin tone a little bit when my skin is behaving, then honestly, I could see myself reaching for this again. It's a very dewy product as well. So it's probably something I wouldn't reach for a lot for long makeup days. It'd definitely be for like a, a short, like run to the shops, but I do want to put something on my face. Do you know what I mean? That kind of vibe. I'm not mad at it. I didn't pay full price for it. I did actually buy this off of one of my Patreons. So I think if I bought this full price, I would have been a bit more like apprehensive about it, but because I did get it for a lot of money off, I'm not mad at it guys, I'm not mad. I know I need the coverage, but as for how it looks on my skin, it looks really beautiful. My skin tone is definitely evened out. Okay, obviously because I wanna up the ante with the coverage, I'm gonna go in with uh, my Huda Beauty concealer. Now I am gonna go in with a lot of this just because I need the coverage. And by the way, the mirror I'm using is from the palette I'm using today, which is why I'm looking down constantly. I'm just using a brush as well because it's going to provide a bit more coverage. Okay, we are getting somewhere. The coverage is a lot better than what it was. So if I was to use this, obviously I will be going in with a full coverage concealer after I've popped it on. Some of my blemishes though are being a bit, um, a bit, what's the word? Like a bit annoying. It's not, they're not like mixing with the, um, the skin tint well. It's like not clinging because it's a very hydrating product. So I'm just going back in with some more pot conceal just to let that dry down and kind of cover those. Okay, so this is what my skin is looking like with the tinted moisturizer and the concealers. And I'm not gonna lie, like, not too bad. Definitely could be better though. Like the coverage definitely could be better. Like my, I think I've covered quite well here actually. It might be just here that's playing up a little bit. But the concealer just like won't stick to that place and cover it properly. But I mean, 
Overall, not bad. I've got a bit of a problem area on my nose here where I've had like acne and it's like very dry and crusty, basically, as amazing as that sounds. So that area is going to be a bit funny. On my nose, though, can you see how... I don't know if it's like the products mixing together, like the different ingredients that are not marrying up together. It's not like sitting on my nose very nicely, but I do struggle with that a lot anyway. But I mean, overall, it's a nice product. I would definitely use it just when my skin clears up because it is definitely not enough coverage for my skin at its current state. Okay, so I have six, I think out of seven of her newer blush shades. I have done a video on these ages ago of when she first released them, but these are completely brand new shades. I'm not gonna swatch them in this video, but I will upload a TikTok and a shorts video swatching all of these and hopefully when I get Gentle Ginger as well. So yeah, I've got all of these. Uh, a lot of people in my group were saying ballet slippers are very nice shade. So I think I'm gonna use a ballet slipper. Sh slipper, this is what they look like. If you've not seen these before, you twist off the lid and it comes like this and you can either apply the product on the sponge like this or if you are a makeup artist you can twist and pull off the sponge to give you the um the plastic sort of applicator what i'm going to do is i'm going to take ballet slipper oh that's very pale okay so i've got ballet slipper on it's very pale like an orangey sort of color they blend out instantly by the way if you uh are wondering what they're like they are basically more of that like serumy type of formula where they like instantly disappear um okay so that color is pretty however i need a bit more of a poppy color i might take a little bit of raspberry ribbon just because where well, i know they're going to be a bit on the sheer side okay let's um i hope that this blends out why do I do it to myself, guys? Instant regret. Instant regret. I should have popped it on my hand first. God's sake. Why am I like this, guys? Why am I like this? There we go. Okay, so that is it all blended out. They are very nice and dewy as well. If you're wondering how I calmed that down, I basically swiped some off of the brush onto my hand to uh, decrease the amount that I was applying to my skin. And I also went in with this brush here, which is what I used for the skin tin and also the um, concealer. So this did ultimately calm it down as well. Okay, so this is my face all set in place now. I just used my Huda Beauty powder in the shade Cupcake. And the only areas of my skin I'm not really happy with are just like a couple of these blemishes. I mean, they are pretty covered now. I'm it's like medium coverage, you know, like I'm not super, super happy. It could definitely be better, but it could also definitely be worse. So not too bad. And also this little bit of dryness um, I've got on my skin here. Let's move on to bronzer. So these come out a little while ago. This is just like a little four pan magnetic palette that come in one of the budget boxes. And then she did send the four bronzer shades. So this is a complete customizable palette. You can buy this and put blushes or bronzers in here. Um, I just have all four of the bronzers because they were sent in the budget box. So I'm gonna take some of this first bronzer here and we're gonna gonna bronze up the skin hopefully with like all the rest of my makeup on um it will distract you from my acne <laughs> and then i'm gonna take a little bit of the second bronzer that is in the palette it's a tiny tiny bit because it's a little bit darker and i'm just gonna contour with it it is quite warm but you know i absolutely love their bronzers i mean look how beautiful that looks on my skin love it so they brought out like powder blush duos in the advent calendars and they have since uh, brought them out individually i think they're 15 pounds so this is what the packaging looks like for them this is um the shade sweet on you first crush and i also have love drunk and in my feels there is also a third one so they come in little heart shaped packaging like this and what you have to do is you have to like spin it round until you see like all three parts so you get two blush shades and then 
On the other side of this, you get a little mirror, but yeah, it is quite tiny. So in this one, if you've got fair skin, this comes with like a pale pink and like a pale sort of corally shade. And then this is the more deep one. You have an orange shade and also like a nice ready toned. So because my um, cheeks are, you know, quite blushed with the liquid blush, I'm gonna go into the lighter version of which I've just dug my finger in. And I'm gonna take this pal corally, no, it's not corally, pal pinky shade. Very, very cute. And I'm just gonna emphasize the liquid blush that I've got on underneath. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I'm literally going blush heavy today. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> All up my temples everywhere, I love it. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous blush, I love it. I wanna collect the other one as well because it has a really nice like mauve tone sort of one that I know I'll love. So finally, for the base, you have no idea how excited I am for these. These are highlighters and when I saw them that they come in like the advent calendar, I literally screamed for excitement. I love highlighters, not as much as blush these days, I am very much a blush fanatic, but I still can appreciate a very good highlighter when I use one. So I got the white wedding shade in my advent calendar and then I have also since got star quality. Um, I think I got another one in a budget box, but it was far too dark for me. So this is the packaging, which I mean, is just absolutely stunning, I love it. And then this is the shade White Wedding. So if you've got a pale skin, this is like perfection for you. And then I'll just show you this one because this is also um, a fair shade. So this is star quality, obviously in the same packaging. And then this one has like a slightly um, different undertone. So White Wedding is a lot more white icy. I think Star Quality has a bit more of a goldeny undertone. Can you see? Can you see what I mean? And then if I just swatch White Wedding, White Wedding is like straight up ice. This has a tiny, tiny bit of like a goldeny undertone. I think I'm going to use that one actually. I'm, I don't really feel like an icy highlight right now. Okay, wow, well, that is absolutely stunning. It's not super in your face highlighter. It's like a really nice glowy. Do you see what I could you see that it looks like wet on my skin? It is so I don't know how to explain it. It's not texturizing at all. It looks so smooth on my skin and yeah, it's not super blinding. I reckon the white wedding one on me would look super like pink. But I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad highlighter. That is a very good highlighter. I look at that, I love it. Um, it's just a very more glowy sort of highlighter. But for people who don't like in your face highlighters, these are beautiful. And I mean, I love it. I think it's absolutely freaking gorgeous. It's a yes from me. Okay, and then to just set all that in place, I'm just gonna grab a little mini of MAC Fix Plus. I hope I've used this. Okay, so it sprays all on. This is my base, all complete. I must admit, it looks a lot better now than it did at the start. So it's definitely a trust the process kind of moment. But now let's zoom in. Oh, the other way. Here we go. Let's zoom in and do some brows. So I'm just going to use their brow pencil. I think this is in the shade Blonde Blend. It might be a teensy, teensy bit too light, but it's fine. Okay, so that's the shade Blonde Blend. It's actually not that bad, you know. I thought it was gonna be a bit more warmy toned. I have used this before, by the way. This is not like first impressions, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure when I've used it before, it's quite warm, but that looks quite nice. And then to set them down, I've got this Hold You Down Brow Fix. Like It's like a long lasting hold sort of gel thing. I'm pretty sure we got this up like, recently, but I'm just gonna, oh God, that was a big clump. Can you tell I don't do this very much? <laughs> I'm just gonna pop the wax in my brow and then kind of brush it through. To be honest with you, I don't really use products like this. Like I don't have the very fancy, um, what they called soap brows and stuff like that. I don't have long brow hair. My brows are fake, like they're microbladed. So I don't really use products like this, but I mean, 
it felt amazing. It felt really nice and thick, and they're definitely they're definitely being stuck down. So I will update you on that in a sec. Let's move on to eyeshadow. So for the eye palette today, there are literally so many palettes I could have used for today's video. I have countless P. Louise palettes that I have not done any content on, annoyingly. But I thought because we're still relatively at the start of 2023, I thought I would use this blend away palette this is the blend away 2022 let me just zoom you out because i feel like you couldn't see that properly but it is a huge palette look it's one of these big ones uh, and it's the blend away 2022 palette i'll just show you what it looks like there is a mirror in here which is what i've been using and then this is the color story here so it's a very much more pinky berry tone vibes the wedding wish xl was more like browns and neutrals but this is definitely more obviously on the pink side so the other way <laughs> so let's get on into the eye look finally i feel like this video has been so freaking long i do apologize but first of course we've got to go in with some p louise base i don't use this a lot uh, now actually i used to use this all the time when i like first started doing um creative sort of looks and stuff but why am I out of breath? I've just been, I've been sat here for like an hour. I think what I found with P. Louise is that it just creased so easily on me. Like I've just blended them out there anyway, but I suppose everything creases on me. I crease under my eyes and my lids, literally everywhere. So I can't help it. Right, this palette is so huge. There's so many options for this. So let's just get on into it. So firstly, I'm going to take the shade present this is so huge oh my god so this is the shade <laughs> present it's quite a like medium kind of like pinky shade and i'm gonna pop this in my crease i know how amazing p louise shadows are so i have no doubt that these aren't gonna be amazing this is literally the most beautiful pink ever Start blending that out. I'm going to take this shade, which is called Goal Setter. So I'm just taking this on like a big fluffy brush and I'm blending this out. P. Louise shadows are just absolutely stunning, aren't they? Then I'm going to take New Slate, which is this shade here. So next I'm going to take the shade past, which is actually next to that first shade of you. So it's like past present. I'm going to take that shade and I'm just going to pop it in my like inner and outer corners. And I'm just going to go back into the present shade and kind of just like blend blend all that together and then i'm going to take a little bit of new slate which is that super pal pink and i'm just gonna take off a bit not take off but just blend out these top edges a little bit then i'm gonna go in with let it go which is a super deep like very toned and very toned very toned color and i'm gonna take it on this same brush just tucking it right right here just to just to give the look a tiny tiny bit more depth and then again back in with the brush i use first is this a pina Louise brush yeah it is it's a 230 brush this for the shimmer i think i'm going to take this one here which is called here and happy and it is a gorgeous like pinky sort of shade i'd love it to go with the shadows and it's a stunning rose gold oh wow to blend that out i'm going to take this shade here which is called better me for the lower lash line i'm going to take this shade here which is called moving up And then for the inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Resolution.
perfect and then this is the completed look using the blend away 2022 eyeshadow palette so before we finish off the eyes i actually have a liner to test this is the fall in line eyeliner particularly in the shade cup of coffee and custard cream i thought we could do some brown eyeliner so this is what they look like we have a nude one and a brown and yeah i'm gonna use I'm gonna use the brown. I don't know how I'm gonna do this without a close-up mirror, but we will try. Oh, it's got a very fine, fine nib on it. I'm gonna do the other one off of camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that is my brown eyeliner. I really love these. Like they're that type of eyeliner that um, are not like a brush. Are they a brush? It's like a point. Like, it really helps you draw on the eyeliner. Personally, I find these sometimes a lot easier than regular like, felt liners. Like, this is not a felt liner. This is like a brush tip applicator. I think that's what I was trying to explain. But I get on really well with these. And this is a stunning eyeliner. It's so pigmented. I didn't have to build it at all. Like, this is like opaque first layer of color but yeah it's absolutely stunning okay so i'm back for my mascara i just used my Too faced better than sex mascara and this is let's focus this is the finish eye look yes p louise do lashes they do so many lashes i do actually have a couple of pairs but i'm not in the mood for lashes today i just felt like putting some mascara on so if you are a lash fanatic definitely check out their lashes because they are such good quality lashes. Lastly, we have the lip kits. Now these originally released in the advent calendars, but she has since released these separately. There are so many shades as well. There's like 15 shades or something, literally ridiculous. I have two kind of colorways. I have a red lip kit and I have a nude lip kit. So let's have a little look at these. Firstly, we'll look at the nude one, which is Flourish and Birthday Suit. Okay, so this is the Flourish lip liner. It looks to be a beautiful brownie nude. And then these are her lipsticks. They are in gorgeous magnetic packaging. And Flourish is a super pale nude shade. Look at all these stunning like PLs on it. It looks absolutely beautiful. So this is a super power nude shade. And then this is stripped and barely there. This packaging is just so beautiful. So much recycling. I think this is ready anyway. I could be wrong because this is brownie. This is a brown lip liner. And I swear this is red. Oh my God, it's not. They're both nude. <laughs> Well, that's very stupid of me. Very sorry. I thought I had a red lipstick. Oh, I would have done red with this as well because we're near Valentine's Day. Well, we are the time that I'm filming this. Mm, okay. Okay. I think I prefer the second one. Uh, this is the shade Barely There and then the stripped lip liner. So let's pop this on first. This is going to be like a 90s lip sort of vibe and because that is a nude a nude shade i'm just gonna kind of like feel i'm gonna fill the majority of my lips in okay so that is a stunning dark nude and then i'm gonna take barely there so this is the lip what do you think have i done it okay Loose, Lizzie, have I done you proud? Like, I'm not a lip combo type of gal and like pairing a really dark lip liner with a pow nude shade isn't my typical kind of look. I just, I just feel like they make my teeth look yellow and I don't know if it looks nice on me. Like, let me know down below. Not 100% sure. I would have loved to have had a red with this look. Like the red and the pink would have gone perfectly together. But I mean, I'm not saying no to a nude. I freaking love a nude. I don't know. Let me know what you think. The lip products went on really, really well. The lip liner is like a normal pencil, but it's super creamy and easy. So this is the other one. This is the Flourish. So that's that colour. Oh, that is a little bit more. It's a little bit more on the like ready brown shade. And then the other lipstick is called Birthday Suit. And this is literally like a pow, pow, like peachy kind of nude. This other lip kit is 
definitely not a bit of me. It's a bit too warm and peachy for me. I love this one because it is a cool toned brown and I love a cool toned brown. So yeah, not typically the type of lip I'd go for, but maybe this will encourage me to reach for it a bit more because I mean, it does, it does look stunning. Okay, so that was me testing a full face of P. Louise makeup. I feel like this video is gonna be so long. I hope it's not too, too long for you. If you have made it this far and you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button. Let me know down below what you think of the products I tested out today. I definitely feel like we had a lot of wins in today's video. Some things I'm gonna have to go back and try again, like um, the the skin tin, the brow wax, I forgot to say, but my, my brows are like literally not moving. <laughs> they are like properly stuck down. So if you need something to stick your brows down, definitely check that out by P. Louise. I think pretty much everything else I loved. It was only really the skin tint. Yeah, okay, only one item that I had a bit of hit and miss with. Everything else, absolutely amazing. Overall, I'm super impressed. I love P. Louise. If this video has showed you anything is how amazing P. Louise are and you definitely should check out more of their products if you haven't already. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this video up here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.